Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm here with my girls. I don't know why that was so awkward. Just gonna have a little chat, a little girl talk, and I don't know where this is gonna go. We just got coffee, we just got done with the walk, and we're just gonna go for it. So, what should we talk? Here, should I see what they said on Instagram? Sure. Ooh, yeah. Okay, everyone tell a story about your first boyfriend. Oh! <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm Beyonce. I'm Beyonce. Oh, he wasn't my first. Oh, wait, really? Yeah, he was oh, my yeah, third. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Ooh, experience. Wow. I know. <laughs> At 16. At 14. <laughs> okay, my first boyfriend, I was, well, I guess technically my first boyfriend, I was 11. He was also my first kiss. Aww. <laughs> we dated for like, I don't know, like almost two years, I think. Dated. We literally, Two years? Yeah. Wow, seriously. It was like a year and a half. I don't really remember. Wow. I remember I had a huge crush on him, so I just asked him to be my boyfriend because, you know, we're my power, you know, from day one. Uh, I didn't know it was his birthday, though. <laughs> so I asked him to be my boyfriend, and it was his birthday, and then he was like, I'll let you know at the end of the day, and then he said yes. So, <laughs> uh, was he trying to shoot for somebody else? I need yeah. an explanation. I don't know, but anyway, <laughs> then we had our first kiss on New Year's, and I was 11. <laughs> Then we kissed twice more in our entire relationship, and we only held hands like a few times, and we hug every once in a while. Yeah, and we, te we texted yourself. all the time, uh -huh. but we never talked in person. So mm -hmm. it was a pretty good relationship, pretty healthy. Pretty good. My first boyfriend was senior year of high school, and my parents were super, super happy. Literally to leave. opposites. Me, eleven. You know, senior, <laughs> senior high year. I did not have time for all these crusty ass dudes, and my parents asked me Fair. three times before this relationship if I was lesbian because I just was not dating anyone. <laughs> Like, I wish I was kidding. It was so <laughs> bad. Like, my mom made my dad sit with her in this conversation, like, the first two times. And the last time uh -huh. she came in our room, she's like, Alyssa, she's like, do you like boys? And I was like, yes, <laughs> just not these ones. I was like, mom. There's no one from here. Yeah. And so, finally, I was in wrestling. I met Morgan. And um, so, I was wait, like. Wait, wait, wait. We probably shouldn't name people by names. Just okay. in case. Just I was in wrestling. We'll call him Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> And they don't have me. Yeah. And um and so yeah, and then he introduced me to <laughs> Oh god. Instead of Morgan with an A, Morgan with an E. <laughs> Anyway, Morgan and I um, <laughs> uh, would like hang out and stuff, and then finally he like um, uh, was like, "Hey, like you hadn't really gone to church in a while because I hadn't gone to church in a while." He's like, "Why don't you come to my church?" And I was like, "Okay." And uh, so then I ended up falling in love with one of his best friends, who oh, I broke up right. later, unrelated to that, but because I was in college and I was also unrelated. very sick of him. It actually it was completely unrelated. <laughs> I was very irritated with him as a person, so I broke up with him um, the first time, and then I broke up with him again later. Yeah, there he, you go. He like called me as well and was like, after we broke up the first time, and he was like. Yeah, I'm just staring into this water wondering what it'd be like if I just never came out. And I was like, hey man, that's actually not my problem, but I'll text your mom. So I texted his mom and was like, I was like, hey, if Morgan doesn't come back, this is where he is. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. So, wow, that's uh, intense. That's fair. How long did you guys date? Dude, like two months. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Bruh. Okay, so tell us about your first boyfriend. Uh, uh, my first boyfriend was in eighth grade. Um, honestly. <laughs> I had the first boyfriend here. Yeah. <laughs> Sixth grade. Makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. The first one. So I was in eighth grade. I remember he was like this new kid who like, so obviously everybody knows everybody once you're in eighth grade of middle school, right? Yeah. So it was this new kid and came to like registration. And I was like, oh, who are you? I was also like student council president. So I was like at the registration, like organizing it. And so I didn't know who he was. And then um, I like kind of found him on Facebook. <laughs> he was in a relationship. Kind of found him? Or... Kind of. No, honestly, I don't even know how it happened. But anyways, he was in a relationship at the time and he started messaging me and then I started messaging him and I was like, oh, but you have a girlfriend. And then he was like, no, I don't. Not anymore and I was like oh uh, sure <laughs> and then so he cheated on her with me no! and then I was like messaging his girlfriend this is my first boyfriend I've never been anything like this before so I was like hey girl sorry like I didn't know she slid into her you head. didn't know I did hey girl well he told me that he broke up with her okay and then okay. she was like we're definitely not broken up and I was like well that sucks um so now that you guys are broken up I'm gonna go ahead and date him <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, you were like, what, 12, 13? Yeah, and so, um, started dating, like, so that was, like, September, right? We started yeah. dating in, like, October. Alyssa was, like, not okay back there. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and take him. You gotta shoot your shot when you can. I can't believe I remember that. I haven't told this story, like, ever, I don't think. <laughs> and so, um, 
I started dating him at my first kiss ever on Halloween. It was pretty nice. Uh -huh. <laughs> New Year's Halloween? Mm. Never? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then it was like probably in April or March that I found out that he cheated on me. Oh, so perfect. then we broke up. Yeah. It's crazy. Like cheaters have a pattern. Yeah. It's yeah. almost like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was kind of cute. Like it was like cuffs. It was kind of cute. <laughs> That's whenever he found his new girlfriend. No. <laughs> okay, okay, hold. Pause. Okay, so I'm talking about like during the holidays, it was kind of like cuff season. Mm -hmm. I was like, that was kind of cute to have a relationship during that time. And then I was like, oh, okay, do you know me? Okay, bye. Like, you're done. He's like, I gotta have yeah. a thought girl summer. Sorry. My first boyfriend, but we were never official once I was like actually old enough to like have a relationship, not 11, uh -huh. <laughs> tried to cheat on me and twice, and both the girls wouldn't do it because they knew me. <gasps> wow. <laughs> yeah. Kudos to them. And then he broke up with me, and I was so mad. I was like, we've been through so much. <laughs> You know what I'm dying after? I just realized that in between the time that I had my first boyfriend and then I met Juan, it was only a year. Like, oh my gosh. so. I mean, that's a pretty long time. No, Wait, from but I'm saying like I had my first boyfriend ever, and then okay. I met Juan, and then I started dating him, and now he's forever. Yeah, forever so my... you only had one boyfriend before yeah. Juan. Well, to Dude. answer y'all's question, my first kiss was at 16. <laughs> Holiday? Mm -mm. Uh, it was not uh, like us. Sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's why I'm in the back seat. Yeah. What is your biggest ick that you have? Oh, I love watching these videos <laughs> on TikTok. Yeah. Wait, I'm gonna say the one that I remember from TikTok. This isn't my ick, but um, it's like those two guys or whatever talking and yeah. <laughs> My girl said that her she got an ick from whenever she was on a first date with a guy and he was driving but he stopped at every red light. I and he saw only got red light! <laughs> and that was her egg <laughs> with his bad timing. <laughs> Imagine stopping at red lights, that's my ick. Not really me. Yeah. Um oh what is I have a lot of icks, so I don't know where to begin. <laughs> Um, being stubbornly argumentative. I cannot. I'm like at a certain point, like just like mm -hmm. I don't even think that's an ick for me. Like that's I think for, it is for me. I, for me, I'm like that's your personality. And, yeah. And it's not just an ick. It's just a complete like. You're just like immediately no. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, sandals on guys. I <laughs> fucking hate it. I hate it. Sorry. Wait, why do you expect them to wear at a beach? I don't care. No <laughs> sandals. I, from the Their car. Skin. From the car to the beach, go barefoot. I don't care. Just sandals are not so. it. Especially slides. Uh, I like, think slides are fine. Flip flops. If they're no, if they're nice, like <laughs> hundred dollar flip flops, like that, and you're wearing like a whole beach outfit. I'm Wait, not saying go get a pair of hundred dollar flip flops. Flip -flops. Okay, I'm just saying like I've had yeah. some guy friends before where they're like their personality is flip flops, and at least they dress them up. They have like little anklets. They like actually like look put together. Immediately no. I think that that's better than just like long ass <laughs> toenails, long ass toenails, and like walking out with crusty ass feet and like slides. I just can't. Long stand toenails it. are an ick. I think long toenails. Long and are fingernails. Awesome. Yes. Um. Okay. Mine is if you ever tried to baby me, I am not one to be babied, mm. and I've never been. There's this one guy who um who sent me a message, and he was like, if oh also if they ever use unironically that emoji that's like the like big sad eyes or whatever. Oh. It's, a, it's even a friendship know. ick. I can't. I, I, I know you're manipulative. Just my biggest ick in general is guys who use emojis unironically. I just <laughs> cannot. Don't send me an emoji. Like, I immediately blocked. Oh, and another ick of mine is just when people are like, I guess that would be like babying, but just like mm -hmm. overly nice to me. I'm like, please stop. Yeah. No. The guy, like, he messaged me and was like, he was like, hey, I know you've been through a lot lately. And then that, like, emoji or whatever. And then he was like, he was like, <laughs> you know, like, I'm sorry, I just want you to know I've been thinking about you. And I, I can't. I mean, that's an ick. I opened it and I went to Snapchat and sent all my streaks. I was like, hey, I was like, this <laughs> just <laughs> And they're like, ew. And I'm like, I'm um, glad y'all are on the same page as me. I think another ick of mine is when a guy swipes up on like all of my stories. Like, why? <gasps> Just stop. Immediately now. Desperation. Yeah. Desperation yeah. is an ick. Yeah. <laughs> Desperation. <laughs> <laughs> the speed limit thing. <laughs> When they drive the speed limit. Okay, that's, that's not what I'm talking thing. about. That's, that's not, a, no, no, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking no. about you're in Texas 
you're on yeah. the freeway you know that everyone's doing 80 in the fast yes. lane that's yes. literally the law i mean it's not the law but that's the law and then the the freeway said 65 so you're like oh i have to go 65 it's like that's not how it is you I better cannot. be going 80 or you're gonna get run over and you're yeah. actually causing the accident but that's an ink of mine i'm just like another ink of mine is guys who have their, their ears pierced really i hate it I think um like the like one is fine, but mm. when they have both, I hate it. I don't know what it is. This is it. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. I'm trying to think of some from in the past. I feel when like guys some... have like badly dyed hair. Like if it's dyed and it looks like okay, that looks pretty good. But there are just some guys who try so hard with the hair dye. Mm-mm. Fair. I feel like I know. haven't seen guys with hair dye in a long time. Really? That's probably the best. That, yeah. <laughs> probably, probably better. Um, okay, for me it's bad posture. <laughs> If, if a guy ever has bad posture, I'm like, you clearly don't care about yourself. See, I have bad posture, so <laughs> I guess that's just me. Next question from Alyssa. What are our biggest goals in life? And also, what are our plans to achieve them? I'm kind of in a weird time in my life. I don't know. Like, okay, so one of my huge goals is to be a teacher continue being with Juan for the rest of my life because that is a goal like just because it's happening now doesn't mean it's going to continue to happen you know mm -hmm. what I mean but um like fight for the relationship yeah, yeah yeah I honestly it's about the way I treat people I think always something that's been important to me is the way I treat people and so I always want to put everyone not ahead of myself but like how to say it like be selfless like help yeah, them selfless yeah. yeah I mean I don't even think is there monetary goals I mean I don't know if I'm going to have kids, but okay, I have two choices. If I have kids, I'm going to be a great mom, period. And if I don't have kids, okay. I'm going to be a, I'm gonna be like a little, you know what I mean? I have like money and like, you know what I mean? Uh, material, material girl. Material. <laughs> yeah. I'm a I like how girl. you say, if I have kids, I'll be a good mom. Imagine you're like, if I have kids, I'll be a bad mom. But if I have kids, <laughs> oh All right, my goals in life, I want to get married and stay married. <laughs> And I really want to be a mom. That's been like my biggest goal my whole life. But also, I want to work really hard on my YouTube channel and hopefully one day see it grow even more. Oh yeah, I actually have a big goal to be able to buy a house here and I eventually want to own like multiple properties and like be a landlord basically, mm -hmm. so. Yeah. That's similar to me. Wait, really? Yeah. So one of my main goals is yeah. obviously to be like financially abundant, mm -hmm. um, and also to go ahead and have multiple like apartment complexes that I own, but in like yes. different cities that I just like absolutely love to travel to. So mm -hmm. then that way, when my friends go to visit that city, I'm like, hey, here's a place to go ahead and stay while you're in town for the weekend or the week or whatever. You know? Yeah, love that. Yeah. So definitely um, that, and then also like something my siblings and I have been working on since we were little is the big house, which is basically like you know like a house where like the whole family can go to whenever uh -huh. we you know like have vacation or whatever I love that yeah and yeah. so whenever my brother and I started working on a pizza place we like would put all of our tips into a bank account together and oh. yeah and so now that we're older you know like we'll put like all of our extra money into that mm -hmm. bank account so it's really cool like watching that grow and like yeah, you know still dope. continuing to plan it that's cool. that's really cool but, yeah I've never yeah. heard of like siblings doing that together I would love to own like a condo like yeah South yeah. Pantry Island yeah. or something and then Ooh, we yeah. could like go visit and then rent it out and stuff yes I love that Ooh, also another goal is um is to own like a plane rental kind of company like a private Ooh. plane rental company I feel like I always think I have these big goals, but then someone asks me what my goals are and I literally just blank. It's yeah. like when people ask, how was your week? And I'm like, I don't know. I would love to like eventually get into like ministry and stuff because that's a big passion of mine, becoming Christian. So not like so late in life, but like older, like I feel like a lot of people grow up Christian and then coming from where I come from and where I am, I'd love to be able to minister, especially to the people of the religion that I used to be in. Mm -hmm. so. Um, so like those are my long term, my short term. Yeah is definitely to go ahead and get like a job with an airline for um, my UX UI design. Mm. And by the end of the year, pay off my student loans and like at least Ooh. half of the house. Wow. That's, that's really good goals, I love so, that. How much longer until the battery dies? I don't know, we're just going until it dies. <laughs> we can just, do we have another question? All right, rapid fire questions. Charlie, what's the first thing in your mind? Go. 